Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video we are going to be talking about the token airdrop for Arbitrum that has finally been announced. I've been sharing with you guys a lot of updates on how to actually get access to that. So for today's video we're going to be diving into how to actually claim your airdrop, when the airdrop claim is going to go live, and then I'm also going to be sharing with you guys one other altcoin that has an upcoming airdrop and how to actually get access to that one because I think that both of these are going to be huge and so I want you guys to be able to get some free money. And then we're going to be finishing up this video by talking about Bitcoin, stocks, and the commodity markets, and talking about how exactly these are going to be setting up for some massive profit and what it means for Bitcoin long term. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and with that being said, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, first things first today, talking about the token airdrop for Arbitrum. I've been talking a lot about this. I gave you guys quite a few video updates, basically giving you guys the hint on getting access to this. The uh, token airdrop uh, lot, the token snapshot, the snapshot for this is actually taking place on February 6th, so you would have had to have been using this for a little while at this point. But nonetheless, if you guys would have been watching my videos, if you guys would have bridged to Arbitrum, followed those resources that I shared, you probably have a little bit of free tokens waiting for you. Now right off the bat, the way you're going to be able to claim this is actually in six and a half days. That's when they're going to be able to make the claim live. But in the short term, you're actually going to be able to see how many you have available. And so if you come over here and click Connect Wallet, you're going to be able to connect whichever wallet you have to this and then you're going to be able to see this check eligibility tab click on that and then you're going to be able to see how many you have right here along with the criteria of what you needed now i have 3600 not enough not as many as i wish i would have had but you know i'm happy it's a free airdrop it's free money at the end of the day so you can't really be too disappointed but nonetheless if i wouldn't have been hacked with my other account i honestly think i would have been able to have at least 5000 of these but i really have no idea and so this is the criteria that you need to have bridge to arbitrum you would have had to use their bridge but then you've also would have needed to use the arbitrum nova bridge I think that you don't need to have bridged to Nova, but it would have been an important thing nonetheless. Now, transactions over time, if you've been transacting for at least two months, six months, and nine months, I think I would have been close to this six-month one had I not lost my original wallet. But either way, I think a lot of you guys that were watching this, or at least my channel anyways, would have at least qualified for this one right here. Now, transaction frequency and interaction, how uh, many transactions you've done, four, more than 10, more than 25, or more than 100. Transaction value, more than 10 grand, more than 50 grand, or more than 250 grand. Assets bridged, more than 10 grand, more than 50, more than 250, or activity on Arbitrum Nova, more than three transactions, more than five, more than 10. And so that's basically the way it's going to be going. Now, what Arbitrum token is itself is it's going to be the uh, governance token. So by actually claiming these, you're going to get a little bit of uh, authority inside of voting for their DAO. If you guys want to be able to vote on changes, any implement any implementations that need to happen and things like that, you're going to be able to use these for voting. It's kind of like Uniswap. That's what their airdrop was for in the last cycle. So it's going to be at least viewed in a similar sort of way. I don't know if they're going to have a lot of value. I don't know anything like that. But if you guys ended up using it, go ahead and claim your tokens. I will link everything in the description of this video so you guys know exactly how to claim them. Now the other thing we're going to be talking about here is Vela. Now we talked about this in yesterday's video and the reason I talked about it is because I think that this is one of the most bullish charts out there. Aside from charts, I'm holding this one long term. I've been dollar cost averaging in this dip. I loaded back in what I sold up here at $4. And so it's because I'm telling you guys this because I really want you guys to be able to get access to this. Now the main reason I'm talking about it today is because they have an airdrop that's going to be going live. And so if you guys didn't get access to the Arbitrum airdrop, you guys are going to be able to get access to this airdrop. Now this one's an easy one to get access to because it doesn't really cost a whole lot to do. Now it does cost a little bit. I ended up depositing $3,000 over here on this exchange and through 13 trades and really less than that, it was probably like five or six trades that I really got the bulk of this up. I was able to get $170,000 worth of trade volume. And so I lost like $100 worth of USDC in doing it. All I did was take $1,000 in a position, open a 20X leverage long, and then close it pretty close after I opened it. So I made $35 total and I was able to get $170,000 worth of trading volume. 
This is what matters most towards the airdrop is how much trading volume you have. So if you guys want to be able to go ahead and wash trade a bunch of money, you're going to be able to actually go ahead and do that and you're going to get access to a Vela airdrop. I think it could be worth a lot of money in the same way that I think that this one's most likely going to be worth a decent amount of money. And so it's exciting to see what all of this is going to do. But if you guys want to get access to an airdrop right now today at, in a market that most likely is going to be taking off, it's one of my long-term holds, I really like this, then I'm going to put a link in the description for this one as well. I'll Exactly. I'll in fact link this inside of the comment section so you guys can follow all of what I'm uh, what I'm explaining right now. Now, right off the bat, let's talk about Bitcoin in the short term. Now, in yesterday's video, what I talked about was that I believed that this was most likely going to reject here, and we were going to fall to the 618 Fibonacci, being this green box right here. And we talked about that, and I still believe that that's most likely the case. Now, the X factor, so to speak, is really what the S&P 500 is doing. We know that we've been in this descending resistance for a long time, but we recently flipped this, and we're getting a huge breakout today. And so I don't know how that's going to impact Bitcoin in the short term, but in the short term for Bitcoin, if we're going to be able to hold support above these August highs where we're at right now, then we would expect in the short term we'd go to probably 28,000. Now, if we're going to continue to hold resistance below this, level and we can't hold above support, then at that point, I still think that this is going to be a short-term B wave and we're going to get a C leg back down to about 21,100 or 21,200, I should say. Because if we look at Bitcoin in here, in my opinion, this has really easy to identify Elliott waves, one, two, three, four, and five. And with our wave five top, we ended up closing back below these range highs. Because if we're coming out here on a bigger term basis, we can see that we've had resistance since August over here. We came all the way back up here and hit these August highs in our wave five top. We rejected off of those. We had this massive breakout. And even though we got this big wick that took us all the way outside of these range highs, we still closed below resistance. So we've had two different candle closes below. Even most recently inside of this green candle, we're still closing below resistance. And so until anything changes, I think that there's more risk buying at this exact moment in time. And most likely we can end up getting one more drop back down to this level here. That was what I really would like. I would actually deploy a lot more capital during that situation, but I don't know for certain whether that's gonna end up happening. If we end up selling off, I would deploy more cash. That's what I would think is the most ideal scenario. However, if we do get a move outside of this resistance, let's say that we're able to actually flip $25,500 approximately, then at that point you could actually look for new positions, jump back into leverage long opportunities, because that is really, there's no resistance above till we hit about $30,000. So I honestly think that there's still opportunity for trading either way. I would, uh, my ideal situation is we would drop back down to this level and then I would deploy more capital, but that's at least what I'm watching for in the short term. Now, some other charts I wanna talk about, the S&P 500, we flipped this resistance. We're getting a big breakout. That's a bullish sign. It's gonna be interesting to see how this stacks up because I think that this thing doing well long-term is gonna benefit crypto because we already know that we've had this correlation to the S&P 500. But big picture, what we wanna be factoring in here is what the dollar is doing. And in the dollar perspective, we have a very obvious downtrend, lower lows, lower highs all the way throughout here. But big picture in the dollar, we actually finished five waves to the upside. And so any five wave upside structure, we would expect to see a correction back down. But the problem with the correction for the dollar is the fact that we have this obvious trend where we go through these consolidation periods, lower lows, lower highs, we make these breakouts. Lower lows, lower highs, breakout. Lower lows, lower highs, breakout lower lows, lower highs, right? And so we would expect to see roughly the same sort of pattern play out once again, because if we look at bit, or if we look at the dollar fundamentally, has anything changed over the last five years to basically dictate the dollar just continuing to go in an uptrend forever? And I would say, no, really, we've seen the dollar just get more weakness. We actually saw the two year treasury bonds yesterday top make a massive rejection. And so really anything to do with the dollar, in my opinion, is totally cooked. In the short term, we could bounce up a little bit higher. Don't get me wrong there. But I think the big picture, this thing is very obviously topped. And we're gonna go for another major downtrend in this cycle. If we're looking over here at the last time the dollar topped, that was the early 2000s, right? And if we're looking at where the oil markets were back then, if we come over here and actually look at the price of gold, that was right over here that we saw that massive accumulation for our gold. And then we saw this big breakout happen right after that time. And so the commodity markets were really fueled 
by this cycle top for the dollar. And so if we're looking at another massive cycle top here for the dollar, we would expect to see commodities performing well. Well, what do we see here inside of the oil markets? Well, oil broke out of a massive long-term descending resistance. It's flipping it as support right now. Wherever this ends up bottoming, it could go a little bit lower. I wouldn't be surprised to see this actually retest this descending resistance as support here before starting the next uptrend. But either way, guys, long term, it broke out of its down, uh, downtrend. Had this massive capitulation that took place where crude oil went negative on the futures markets. So it doesn't get any better than that. I think that it's pretty obvious to tell that this thing's going to go up. They're going to phase out. Um, gas engines, they're going to try to force everybody to electric. And so chances are we're going to have this massive price appreciation inside of the oil markets. And big picture, the price of gas and oil and everything is going to go up insane. We're going to have this thing break out and make new all-time highs. This thing looks very bullish on the big picture. And if we pull up the uh, price or if we pull up the volume, we have an immense amount of volume that came in here around these lows. And so once this thing starts to break out, in my opinion, we're going to see the price of oil. We're going to see the price of gas, most importantly, go up so much. And that's probably where we're going to end up seeing everybody switch to electric cars because they won't even be able to afford normal gas-powered engines or anything like that because the price of gas will be up so much. And so that's really what I see big picture for oil. It would be nice to see this thing drop all the way back to around 40 bucks, retest this descending resistance because then at least in the short term we'd all have cheap gas. But big picture, I think that this thing's going to go absolutely crazy. Gold itself is getting ready to break out of all-time highs and make new all-time highs. We can see a perfect wave one, ABC. Wave three, ABC, and now we're getting ready to make another big breakout into price discovery. I think that this thing's gonna go insane and there's gonna be a lot of money made because of the fact the dollar is topping. Even if we come over here, even if we come over here and look at silver, silver itself is one of the most bullish charts long term I've ever seen. It's in a giant cup and handle formation where we have the top of the cup, we have the bottom of the bowl, and then we have this handle right here. Once this thing breaks out of the all-time highs, it's going to go so high. I'm not even kidding. It's one of the most bullish long-term patterns I've ever seen because the cup and, handle, uh, cup and handle formation is known as being one of the most bullish accumulation patterns ever because what it signals is a massive blow off top, and that's generally the way that you would see this chart actually accumulate. If you go back into 2017 and you look at a lot of crypto markets and altcoin markets, a lot of them did this exact pattern. In fact, a lot of altcoins are doing this kind of pattern today. If you look at Ethereum, Ethereum kind of looks like that exact same cup and handle formation. Uh, it's just a little bit different, whereas this ended up going into a new all-time high. But nonetheless, it's one of the more bullish chart patterns that actually exist. And so with silver looking so bullish like that, with gold actually going into price discovery, with the price of oil breaking a long-term descending resistance and now flipping into support whenever that ends up happening. And if we come over here and look at the price of uranium, we see pretty much the same thing. Uranium's my favorite commodity. It's what I've personally invested my own money into. And I believe that this is setting up for a long-term buy signal. What we can see is our very first breakout five waves up and we're working on our first ABC correction back down. I still think we might go for one more low here to around 15. But once we actually hit that, I think that this thing is going to be setting up for a much bigger move to the upside around this lower high up here at 65. And from here, guys, a lot of these uranium companies on the stock market are going to do absolutely insane gains, basically the same gains as crypto, just on a longer term basis. And so I'm actually funneling crypto profits back into uranium stocks. I think that these are going to do really well long term. And everything has to do with the fact that if we look at the dollar, it's in a mass, uh, massive topping point. And so with that, it's going to be interesting to see how Bitcoin stacks up. You know, it would be really great to see Bitcoin uh, do well, sync up more accordingly with the commodity markets. And when we have this commodity bull run, Bitcoin syncs up to gold, Bitcoin syncs up to silver or something like that. And we actually end up seeing Bitcoin do that for the first time ever. Because up to this point, Bitcoin's followed the S&P 500. But I mean, even when we're looking at the S&P 500, this thing on the big picture to me still looks bullish. To me, still looks like it's flipping descending resistance as support. I think that this is going to do well long term. And so up to this point, because Bitcoin's correlated with stocks, I think that that's really what we want to see do well. But the more that we can correlate with gold or silver or something like that, in my opinion, that's just really bullish. I think it doesn't really matter either way because the dollar's topping and we know that Bitcoin always is doing well whenever the dollar isn't. So these are what I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you got access to these airdrops. I'm going to link everything in the description for those that want to get um, checking this out. Make sure you follow the links that I'm sharing because I don't want you guys to get stuck in any scams. 
I'll link them in the descriptions. I will link them in the comments as well. Get access to the Vela Airdrop if you haven't. This is another one that I think is going to do phenomenal. It's one of my personal long-term holds. I've already done some trading. I'm going to link the exact link in the description for you guys to follow and do it yourself. Thank you all so much for the support. Once again, if you guys want to follow the trades that I post, if you guys want to be able to get access to any of this information I'm talking about here, uh, my members have been able to get access to the Arbitrum Airdrop information for a long time. Plenty of time to be able to get a few free tokens. I don't know about the people on YouTube, but I talked about it earlier inside of my Discord. So. Same thing with the Vela airdrop. If you guys want to be able to get access to any of this information, I share a lot of information inside of that Discord. Aside from just trading, aside from leverage positions, aside from NFTs, aside from DeFi stuff, airdrops, all of the IDOs, any pre-sells and things like that. If you guys want to know how to get access to this, there's a lot of money to be made inside of there, especially with this being at the low point of the market cycle. I think we're due for a massive bull run and anybody that's getting in right now is setting themselves up to make the most profit when that happens. So I'd love to see you guys in there. We've been getting a lot of new signups and so thank you to any of the new members. Thank you to anybody that's just been watching, watching the videos, like and comment and subscribe and or just simply just watching. I don't care what it is. All of you guys, I appreciate the love and support and I can't wait to see what these markets do. I hope to God that you guys ended up getting some free money because that's what I love to see for you guys is get any time there's a free airdrop and we all get access to it. it makes me really happy because free money is free money and I know a lot of these airdrops are big enough to really change some of you guys' lives. So I'd like to see you guys also get access to this Vela airdrop. Links are all in the description. Thank you so much for the support and with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.